Uh, Earl, I've got to clean this barn, find dust off, man. It's like worth too much money. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm actually a bit uh, sinusy, so sorry if I sound like I'm really sick. I actually feel perfectly fine, but probably don't sound that great. All right, so welcome back to the video. Uh, so I found out about this car about a month ago, maybe a bit more than a month ago. Um, and uh, yeah, for some context, um, we're gonna have to take a trip back in time to when I was about seven or eight years old. And uh, my neighbors had this car that, uh, you know, I thought it was a Ferrari or something, just this loud Ferrari Porsche looking car. And um, one day I heard it coming and uh, I just ran out the front, you know, my mom, I'm gonna go look at the Ferrari or whatever. And I got right up to the edge of the road and um, uh, I'm like, Mazda? You know, Mazda don't make cars like that. And um, that essentially, um, you know, started the uh, the whole thing. Um, I just got obsessed with RX-7s and learned about what, um, you know, rotaries were from, from magazines and all that. And then on top of that, my mum had a brown four-door Bug Eye 323 and my dad had a two-door Bug Eye 323. So that's basically what started this whole obsession with Mazdas and... You know, three two. My first car was a three two three, which which, which if you've been watching the uh, the barn find wagon series that I'm doing at the moment, um, then you'd know about that hatch sitting in the corner of my workshop. That's actually my first car that I've had since I was sixteen. So, um, yeah, that car was a Mac Green Series One Savannah RX Seven uh, with the flares and everything, and um, that my neighbours owned. And um, this car on the trailer is a factory Matt Green Series 1. Not a Savannah, but still factory Matt Green. So yeah, it's essentially, it's um, it's my dream car. So um, my mate hit me up. He was like, do you want to buy it? And I'm like, yes, yes, I do. So I've been completely busting my ass the last sort of month, month and a half to get it. Here we go. That looks very Mazda-y. Uh, Earl, I've got to clean this barn, find dust off, man. It's like worth too much money. <laughs> cool wheels. 12A. Sick. It's what dreams are made of, kids. It's what dreams are made of. Saving another one. Crusty. iconic Mazda RX-7 dash cluster with a volts meter in the middle of the taco. So good. We're out. That actually wasn't too painful. Just had to do a seven million point turn. How's the like the patchy paint and stuff on this side. It's like something like 10 years ago you would have seen this car and just like thrown it in the scrap. It's, it's crazy, isn't it? Got the uh, 2005 Autobahn spec pedals. I had to stop filming before because it was pissing with rain. Um, the car is the car is just loaded and the car on the trailer is loaded with parts. So um, yeah, I've got to try and get all of this stuff in my workshop now. So <laughs> let the fun begin, I guess. 
All right, gonna roll this thing off, stick it in the hole and um, start going through all the parts, see what we've got. All right, so I got the car off the trailer and really just sort of, just looking at it, just looking at the shape and that, it's really just sort of starting to hit me that I actually own an RX-7. Um, like I was just looking in the engine bay before and I was like, I own a 12A. It's 12A. I don't know, I, I just think it's cool. Some of you might think it's not cool, but I just think it's cool, you know. Last 12A I had was the, uh, the Beige 323 with a 12A in it. Um, I actually sold Earl this engine and um, I actually started this engine on the ground in the driveway. I'll see if I can find an old video and I'll put the old video in. Next video of this thing, I'm uh, going to do the old trans oil down the carby, make sure it's all clean inside, hook fuel to this thing and I'm going to start this thing up. I reckon it'll run. I wonder if it still turns over. Yeah, it turns over. I wonder if it makes all the right noises. Yep. There it is. This motor will run, and not will. So, someone's painted the engine bay Kawasaki green. Um, you know, which obviously I like that color, being as I'm just doing the wagon. But yeah, I'm all about the original color, the matte green. So my plan for this car is uh, just to recreate that car from my childhood that started the whole lot, so. Uh, it's going to get the Savannah flares, the big wing, the front bar, full kit. Um, if this motor runs, I've got plans for this motor. I think this car needs a 30mm turbo though. So um, let me know what you think in the comments. What motor would you put in it or what motor do you think I should put in it? Um, but yeah, there's some, there's some fruity bits on it. It's come with spares. Just doubles of center consoles, doubles of everything as two fuel tanks. Um, this car actually had a 30mm turbo in it. And I don't think it ever ran, but it's got a full three inch exhaust with a rotor flow. It's got a, some, you can't see it there, but it's got like an undercar surge tank set up. Uh, it's got series two disc brake diff. You can see it in there, disc brakes on the back. And like, yeah, my whole wagon is just full of parts to the brim. Absolutely to the brim. I mean, look at this shit. Full to the brim. So you're gonna have to take stock of what I've got and start piecing the car back together, putting all the panels on and everything. Just to see what's going on. But yeah, if you're new to the channel, definitely like, subscribe, share, comment below because I always read the comments and try to reply to all of them. What would you do to this car if it was yours? Um, got all the bits out. So now there's RX-7 bits everywhere, sandwiched in between the 323 bits everywhere. Yeah, we don't need no Skyline bits though. Those Skyline bits can go on the bin. Unless you know what model Skyline this is out of and uh, you need this part, flick me a message. Otherwise, in the trash. So just have a look over here. I will put a link to the barn fine wagon, the build that I'm currently doing, which is next videos. There's gonna be some serious stuff. Like I'm gonna be clutch kicking it, driving it out the workshop. So that's coming along awesomely. So yeah, check out that video there. Check out some of my other builds. Give me a sub. Next video this week, I'm gonna get that motor running. So stay tuned for that and thanks for watching.